Welcome to the how-to video for the Rube Goldberg Rocket Challenge playset. In this video, we'll show you how to build and make your chain reaction work successfully. The Rocket Challenge comes with everything you see here. Check your instruction sheet to ensure you have everything. Choose a flat surface for your assembly location. First, insert the long poles in the rounded end of the Mars base. Then the short poles go in as shown. Now put the satellite tracks in on each side. Snap on the space arm bracket to join the poles, ensuring it is in the upright position. After that, insert Rube's flagpole. The North Pole asteroid inserts into the Earth base. Then secure the moon ramp on top of the North Pole. Now create the black hole by squeezing the two pieces together until it's a snug fit. Add the top ring to secure. Next, the black hole fits over the red pump from the launch pad. Compress the airline as shown and bend into desired shape. A shorter line allows for a higher rocket blast off. Now, let's clip on the helping hand with the UFO to the side of the black hole, facing as shown. After that, lift the moon ramp to slide the clip into the black hole. Place the satellite onto the satellite tracks and wedge astronaut Rube under the flag. He works best if he's placed on his toes. Then lift up the moon ramp and balance it on the helping hand. Twist the asteroid around the North Pole by turning the North Pole in a counterclockwise direction as shown. Once twisted, fit the asteroid into the space arm by balancing the arm onto the space arm bracket. Now place the moon onto the moon ramp. Be sure to have him face forward. Now we can load the rocket. Be sure to line up one of the rocket fins over the launch plate. Lift the launch tower and place the ball in and you're loaded and ready for a launch. An important thing to remember about inventing is that it doesn't always work right away. Just like real engineers and scientists, you'll need to do some experimenting to get your chain reaction just right. Let's try this. Oh no! What went wrong? Let's see that in slow motion. Ball hits Rube, releasing him from the flagpole, rolling the satellite down the tracks. But no! The satellite lost speed! Tinker time! We can increase the rolling speed by adjusting the height of the crossbeam to be closer to the tracks. This will help to properly space the tracks evenly so the satellite can roll more freely. Reset. Let's see that again. The ball hits Rube, freeing him from the flag. Satellite rolls, but doesn't hit the space arm. Tinker time. We need to reduce the distance between the Earth and the Mars base. This puts the space arm in a higher angle and allows Rube and the satellite to come in contact and knock it down. Success! Challenge complete! So how does it work? Gravity and air pressure help to complete the chain reaction. Gravity is the invisible force that pulls everything down to the Earth. It's also what makes the satellite roll down on the rails and the moon fall downward. Air pressure is used to launch the rocket. Air pressure is a force created when the air is squeezed or compressed through a smaller size. The air travels through the tube and launches the rocket, sending it soaring into the sky. And if you want to make crazier obstacles, Combine the rocket challenge with other sets to make even bigger, crazier, more elaborate challenges. Have fun and keep inventing!